Hi, what's up guys, welcome back to another new video. As you saw from the title of this video and its thumbnail, we are going to discuss Is Bitcoin going down to zero after so much has happened? China is banning 90% of the mining and Elon Musk is messing around with some tweets. As you can see from this article on Global Times, many Bitcoin mines in Southwest China's one of China's largest cryptocurrency mining bases were closed as of Sunday. The ban also means that more than 90% of China's Bitcoin mining capacity is estimated to be shut down, at least for a short period of time, as regulators in other key mining hubs in China's north and southwest regions have also taken similar harsh steps. So, the question is, will this drag Bitcoin to zero? No, absolutely not. I think Bitcoin is never going down to zero, no matter what happens. But before I continue with the video, I would like to take a moment to thank you guys for clicking on our videos. If you like the content we show on this channel, be sure to show it to us by liking and subscribing. I hope this video is helpful to you and helps with the current crypto situation that you are in right now. As I was saying, I don't know why you guys are panicking so much and making it such a big deal. Last couple of days, a lot of people have been going crazy on social media, on TikTok, on Twitter, on Instagram, asking crypto influencers around the internet about what is happening, are we going to zero? and many more questions. To be honest, this is not a thing that you guys should be panicking at all. Cause I don't know if all of you guys were aware of this, but I'm sure that most of you are, that there are a ton of big companies that are banned in China, but they are doing absolutely fine outside of that country. If you are wondering which are those companies, well the list is very long. For example, I'm going to start with a company that you all know and you use it every day like Google, YouTube, social medias like Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, watching and streaming platforms like Netflix and Twitch and many more. So let's take a minute and ask ourselves, when did China ban Google? In 2010, 11 years ago. Has Google fallen since China banned it 11 years ago? No. So what is the reason to worry about Bitcoin? The same thing will happen as well. As long as I can remember, this isn't the first time that China is banning cryptocurrencies. And as we read the article, it says that the ban might be just for a short period of time. It might e not even take that long. A lot of Bitcoin is owned by Chinese people, but that doesn't mean that they can go outside of China and use it or work with it from another country. I saw some articles around the internet that the miners in China are moving out of China with all of their equipment. And what does that mean? It means that they will go to another country where Bitcoin isn't banned and they will start mining again and nobody will be able to stop them because there is no reason in doing so. Here is a picture that shows which countries trade the most Bitcoin or work with it the most. And as you can see the first ones are the USA, then Russia, then the United Kingdom Venezuela and then comes China in the fifth place. And I know a lot of you guys are asking, but what about Ethereum or Cardano or XRP or Polkadot or VeChain because you don't care that much about Bitcoin? Well basically the same thing will happen with these altcoins too. Nothing crazy will happen no matter what. If any of these happen to fail, it means they failed because of other problems that the respective companies weren't able to manage that well and solve them, not because China banned Bitcoin. But if you are wondering about shitcoins, well do me a favor and just leave this video and don't watch it. When you're done you, you can 
is leaving. No, but seriously, in a big dip like this, when Bitcoin went down to the 20s, it touched 28.8k, you just have to forget about shit coins. And do not try to buy any of them, because in these dips, they will not be able to rise again. Even if the whole market skyrockets, they will not be relevant. You might have been betrayed from your favorite shitcoin that you might have created some kind of spiritual connection during a bull break. But if you are dipping like this at this rate, chances are more higher that you are going to lose all of your invested money. So let's get back to Bitcoin. As you can see from this chart that I'm showing to you guys right now, this is a chart of Bitcoin through the years. I'm pretty sure it's from 2011 and to the current times, 2021. At first look, this chart is going mostly up, but if we zoom in, we can see that this chart has a lot of dips and spikes. We can see even lower dips in percentages than this that we had the couple of days ago. My personal opinion is that Bitcoin will break its new all high this year one more time. I don't know exactly when, but I think it's going to be somewhere around at the end of this year. But during the next months, it will dip and spike many more times before it reaches that. And will we enter the bear market after Bitcoin breaks its new all high at the end of this year? Yes, that could happen, but I will be bearish Hello. after that all high. But will it go down to zero? No, absolutely not. Hell no. Just look at this chart and you will see that every bear market, the price was higher than the price during the previous bull run. And about an altcoin season? Well, it would be lovely if we would have an altcoin season. But I cannot tell you if you are going to have one or not, because the market is being manipulated a lot. But no worries if you are new to crypto, because manipulation in crypto market happens all the time. And this concludes all I had to talk about this topic for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful and useful. If I said something unclear, or you guys have any questions, be sure to comment down below and we will reach out to you as soon as possible. Again, thanks for watching and have a good time. This indicator predicts that Bitcoin is going to zero soon. It's called the tip and balls indicator and it predicts that Bitcoin will shrink all the way down to zero dollars in the near future. It's been extremely effective in the past at predicting crashes and dumps. And that's why.